Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is 17 part video series showing you how to create MG building. Let's get started. So let's start by opening a new architecture template. So click on new, go to drop down and then click on architecture template and then press OK. Once it's open, what we're going to do is we're going to save this. So go to file and go to save as. And then we're going to click project and then go to the location you want to save it. I'm going to save it right here. And then we're going to do condo. And then here under option, you can choose how many uh, maximum um, backups do you want so every time you keep keep on saving um, it's going to add um, one more and then eventually once it hit 20 it will um, save on the the first one that you do so here i'm just going to limit this to probably five is enough so that we could still go back if um, we save it and then we wanted to go back to the previous save we could just um, open that one as well. So here, you just need to press OK and then save on the location. So once it's saved, as you can see, we started on level one. Now, um, what we're going to add first is grid lines. Usually grid lines help me um, let you know where we're going to start. And then usually in construction, that's where the position, where the location of the um, columns are. And then it also tells you the distancing of each. So it's very helpful in terms of architecture, structural and engineering for that sense. So here, the more main purpose of as adding grid lines is for our coordination. So every time I say go to A1, A2, or th those kind of stuff, you will know where to go and everybody will be, um, everybody can fo follow. So in grid line, we just need to uh, click on GR or under architecture, it's right here on the right side. So you can click here or type in GR for short. So let's click on G, um, grid. And then here, um, that's the grid bubble. That's the diameter of the bubble. And then now let's add in a vertical first. So if this is uh, number one, um, once you add another one, so I'm just adding one. And then once you add another one, it will be consistent with uh, whatever um, you add this. So now I'm planning to change this. So I'm just gonna double click and then type in capital A. So that's our first grid line. You can zoom in and zoom out from there. After that, um, so we have our grid line. You can click on so it's still selected. Um, if you just click on copy under modify, or you can type in CO. So that's copy now, like that. So if you type CO, that's the short, and then you need to click on multiple. Okay, so that we could just keep on adding grid lines. So now for the first one, just click on the grid line again, and then just move it on the right side. So from the right side, we're going to keep on adding our grid line. So if you notice, I'm going to type in 6,000. And then it's gave us our spacing, our offset of 6,000. And as you can see, it will uh, be consistent with the sequence. 
So let's do it again. Make sure it's 90 degrees or without an angle. So now 6,000, another 6,000. 6,000 again. So that's 36,000. Six and then now going to E, that's 2660. Next, it will be 4,000. So let's move this. It's around 4,730. Next will be 8,600. Let's need to move this back so that we have more space. Um, let's do, do 10,930. Next will be 4,640. Again, it will be 33, 3,400. Next will be 60, 65. And then 98, 20. 60, 65 again. 28, 45. And then 3, 3, 3, 5. So here I made a mistake here, so I'm just going to do it again. So from L, copy, multiple. So click on copy again, and then just move it on the right side. This will be 60, 65. Make sure this is like that, 28, 45. And then 3335. So I'm going to add in dimensions once we finish this one so that everybody can follow again. Um, and then let's add in our horizontal grid line. So you could just click this again or GR. So that's grid line. And then let's use numbers now. So I'm just going to do it like this and then zoom in and then click on the bubble. So number one. After that, press escape, click it again, and then click on copy or CO. Drag this one below and then we could type in 8785. Next will be, so just move it all the way down for now so that we could just keep on typing. 8815-7525. Move it again. 5600. And then 4865. Press escape and then escape again. Now, if you notice, we need to move this one more on below. So if you click one of the grid lines, as you can see, there's a break line. And that represents that once you move this, everything will, move, will be moved. So here, we're just going to move everything like that. So it's very simple. And then let's move this one as well. So it will follow on all the grid line. And here, because we're going to add in some dimension, we need to move it upwards as well. Now, these are elevations. So once we build our models, um, you need to move this one as well so that everything will be shown on the view for the elevation. So what you need to do is you just need to select that like that and then you could just move it like this. So we're going to put it in the midpoint. So in the uh, you can estimate it from the middle like that. 
this one as well. So just select. And you could use even move command, MV. And then you could just estimate it in the middle like that. Here as well. So you just need to select that. And you could just keep on dragging like that. So everything will be shown and even here. Okay, so everything will be seen for the elevation point. Now we could just click on the dimension. So you could just type in DI or that one under modify. We're going to zoom in so that every dimension will be clicked onto the grid line. So as you can see, that's why uh, the grid line is very important as well. So most of the time you put it on every grid line like that. And then you put another one for the overall. So now what we have is 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, and so on and so forth. Hopefully you guys can follow. And then here, number one to number two as well. So the horizontal will have its dimensions. And then let's put in overall like that. So we started 87, 85 and those ones as well. So now that our grids are done, what we could do is we could add in our levels. So what will happen is level one, so ground uh, to second floor or first floor to second floor will be different. And then third floor is the one for the circular um, level. We started from there. And then going up, we're just going to keep on copying it. So copy to clipboard or we could group it so that if we change one, everything will change. So we're going to do that on following videos. But for now, um, we need to create the base first. So first per second floor and then the third floor. And then what we need to do is we need to go to our um, elevation. So let's go to our south elevation. And then what we need to do here is we need to add our levels. So here, if you zoom in, we need to move this one all the way to the right side so that it covers everything. So here, you just need to select one and then just move it all the way at the end like that and similar to the grid lines the level will follow as well as you can see it shows a dash line those are temporary dash line just to show you that uh, it it will move on everything and then here our grid lines our, um, our vertical grid lines we need to push it all the way to the top so that everything will be covered because we're going to add multiple levels right here. Okay. And then once we add our, our levels, we need to add in our um, floor, floor plans right here. So that will be shown as well. So let's finish this first. So I'm just moving it, um, estimating all the way to the top because uh, level one to level two, I'll just maintain that to 4,000 because those are for retails and then offices as well. So 4,000 is more than enough for that. And then here, what I can do is you can click on level two and you can use copy command. So CO or this icon under modify. Click on that. Multiple is already checked, so that's good. That's perfect. And then what we could do is we could just click that and then move it at the top like that so that we could just type in 4,000. So level 2 to level 3 will be 4,000 as well. So it will include it like that. Now, um, for the third floor, that's our condominium area. So that's our residential. So we're just going to put it 
3,000. I think that's more than enough. We could put it at 3,200, 3, but I'll, we'll just maintain 3,000 for this and so on and so forth. What you could do is you could use this copy command. So that that's going to be, um, that's a lot of um, stretching and then typing. Or what we could do next to make it faster is we could just, is uh, we could just click on level so this is uh, actually what we could do um, too is to click on level and once you click that you could click on this spec line and from this spec line we can offset this to 3000 so we just need to keep on clicking 3000 and one of the check mark here is the make plans view so once we click this and as you can see there's a temporary dash line there indicating that it will add another level there um, it will create the floor plan as well here so right now we don't have three four and five showing here uh, that that's because we need to go to view and then we need to click on plan views floor plan so let's save it later on and then we need to select level 3 to level 5 so we need to highlight everything so hold on shift and click on level 5 and then press ok and it will appear on that let's go back to south elevation so now that everything is the floor plan is already here what we can do now is we can go back to architecture and click on level so ll click on pick line again offset this to 3000 and then here we just need to click on that it will then create level six and so on and so forth and then all the floor plans will be appearing here instantly so there is a lot of ways to do this. So here, I think this one is the best way because everything will be shown right here and you, you don't need to go to floor plan to view and go to floor plan to create those floor plans anymore. There's also another way of creating levels is um, by going to modify and creating an array uh, those ones uh, I've shown it into my massing uh, and then those uh, massing um, in place massing I showed you how you guys can um, can create this one fast um, so just check those videos out so that it's easier for you to cre create um multiple levels instantly but this way as well it's good couple of seconds it's a no problem as well so here let's uh go up to 35 so that we we don't need to stretch too much anymore i think that's the best way so we have our levels we have our grid lines and we have some dimensions so we're ready to go to the next level by adding uh, walls to our ground floor or level one and then um, after that go to ground two our level two and then we're gonna do our typical floor plan which is circular so thank you for watching and hope you like the video Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.